Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Code with Sunny and today I am going to discuss the problem divide two integers of lead code index number is 29 and the problem is of medium type ok so let's jump directly into the problem statement without wasting our time so in this problem we have been given two integers as the problem name suggests we have been given two integers dividend and divisor and we have to divide two integers without using multiplication division and modulus operator ok now we have to return the question of uh, return the question after dividing uh, dividend by divisor ok so also we have to truncate the value suppose we are uh, getting this float value or you can say double value we have to remove the decimal part and we have to print the answer 8 so we are not supposed to use multiplication division and modulus operator and we have to return the question so how we can do this let's think upon uh, we can use the what you can use the bits to solve this so also there is a note here oh, okay when our answer uh, overflows the what int max so i have to report int max okay so let's move uh, further for further analysis of this problem how we are going to solve this okay so uh, okay before uh, moving further so let's discuss what is actually given in this question we have been given dividend and divisor and our goal is to return the quotient after division so one method would be what uh, divide the, the it directly and uh, yeah, what and we can take the quotient and print it but uh, we are not supposed to do so so we are going to find out the what the next approach that is the best approach to solve this problem so let's move further so suppose we have a dividend of 15 and divisor of 3 so how we are going to solve this problem suppose actually this uh, division that is uh, uh, that is on division on dividing dividend by divisor the quotient will be what the how many times we are going to reduce this divisor from this dividend that is so uh, what i am going to write i am if i have the value 15 so i am going to subtract 3 and then i am going to subtract 3 again and uh, we are going to do until and unless what it is uh, greater than or equal to 0 so how many times we can do this subtraction that is you can see 5 times so that is 3 into 5 that will be what 0 and similarly suppose we have here 17 and we are having divisor equal to 4 then we can how many times we are going to subtract it that is first let us subtract 4 then it becomes to what 13 then we are going to again subtract 4 then become 9 then we are going to try again subtract 4 then it becomes what 5 then do 4 1 so again now we cannot subtract again 4 so our answer will be 4 here so that's what i am going to do here okay so what i am going to do is i am going to check out how many times we are going to subtract this divisor 3 from this dividend so so to do this efficiently uh, we can also do this using the subtraction but we are not going to use this we are going to use the bits so how we are going to use the bits efficiently to solve this problem so let's analyze this okay now okay so let's write the binary representation of 3 suppose this is the binary representation of 3 so uh, now I am going to shift this value that is shift 3 to the one place to the right so our new binary representation would be what 110 and it is what actually it is 6 and here in, in the upper one you can see it is 3 and if we again shift this by value equal to 1 you can see we have this binary representation like it is what you can see it is 12 and again if you can shift 1 uh, by one place you can have the number like this it is actually 24 so what we have observed here on shifting one place to the left of the divisor you can see we have the values like 3 6 12 24 so I'm, what i am going to do is i am going to find how many times we are going to shift this uh, what shift this divisor until the value that is here you can see 12 is less than 15 and now 24 goes out of 15 so i am going to find how many times we are going to shift this divisor to the left so that i am going to subtract the what number of times 
we are going to shift this that is we can easily find the question using regarding this so how many times we have shift this value that is you can see i have shifted this value four uh, two times that is shift 3 to 6 that is one time again 6 to 12 again second time and again 12 to 24 but this goes out of what bound that is out of 15 so i'm not going to include this so how many times i have shifted this so i have shifted two times okay so if i have shifted two times uh, so our answer would be what incremented by what our answer in would be incremented by power of 2 comma what shift that is number of times i have shifted it let's say it is cnt count okay so uh, after doing this so you can see uh, our value that is if i am going to shift it by two times so let's say we are uh, we have reached 12 so i because i have shifted two times so we are not going to start again with the value of dividend as 15 now we are going to start with the value of dividend as what uh, let me write dividend as our previous value that is 15 minus what i have reached in that previous step that is 12 so i have reached 3 here this is my new value and what is our new divisor it will be again 3 because i am not going to change here okay so now what i am going to do is i am going to again check it out again at the same number of steps so i am going to check if how many times we are going to do the shift operation so i am going to do the shift operation here nothing so if i am if i am going to do the nothing here then i am going to increment my answer by 1 why i am going to increment my answer by 1 because to balance my answer so you can you would came to know in my letter of or you can say two three minutes after that why i am going to do increment my answer if there is no shifting note that uh, note that why there is no shifting here because if you write the binary representation of three let's say it is the binary representation of three and if i am going to shift it uh, to the left by one place then it would be like one one zero then what is the value of this let me figure it out it would come as 6 now the 6 is going to be greater than 3 so it uh, it is what it is no need of to shift the divisor to the left so i am not going to shift this so my answer stops here that is my new answer would be what mm, let me write uh, 2 power in the previous step i have done 2 shifting that is 2 power 2 it is 4 plus now it is incremented by 1 so i have answer 5 yes you can see it is matching with my actual division if you divide 15 by 3 it will come out to be what 5 the question so this is my uh, i have done my first example so let me discuss my next example so you no need to worry about let me write dividend equal to let's say we have some random value let's say 47 okay divisor so let me have divisor 4 now okay so uh, you we all know that uh, we can divide 47 by 4 and get 11 as a quotient but we need to do this using bits so uh, what i am going to do is, uh, is i am going to first write the binary representation of 4 that would be what 0 0 now let us let me shift okay let me write the values along with so it is it has the value 4 let me shift it by 1 so what will be the value that is it would be like 100 0, 0, and our value would be what let me shift it to the left that it would become 8 that is multiplied by 2 okay now you can see i have the binary representation of this now it would become 16 now still it is less than 47 note that shifting the divisor to the left by one place means that we are going to divide that number by 2 in the previous step you can also see i am going to multi oh sorry 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 i am going to multiply that number by 2 that is shifting to the left means multiply the number by 2 and shifting to the right means divide the number by 2 that is using the right shift operator and left shift operator so here i am using the left shift operator that's why it, uh, the number is going to be multiplied by 2 okay so here i have 16 now i am going to write fast 1000 now we will have 32 okay still it is less than 47 now in the next step you can see easily the our value will be what 64 which is going to be greater than the what 47 so how much time we have done shifting 1 2 3 so i have done three times shifting so our answer would be what incremented by 
पावर ऑफ टू कॉमा काउंट दैट इज थ्री सो आवर आंसर वुड बिकम वॉट एट नाउ वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ फोर्टी सेवन सो आई एम गोइंग टू रिड्यूस फोर्टी सेवन बाई वॉट थर्टी टू बिकॉज इन द प्रीवियस स्टेप आई एव रीज अप टू थर्टी टू सो आवर न्यू डिविडेंड वुड बी वॉट फोर्टी सेवन माइनस थर्टी टू विच इट वॉट फिफ्टीन एंड वॉट वुड बी आवर न्यू डिविजर विच इज एक्चुअली द सेम एज द प्रीवियस सो अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू राइट वन वन और यू कैन से जीरो जीरो and it is still what it is still less than 15 i am going to shift by 1 it would become 8 now still it is what less than this now next step would be 16 which is greater than 15 so i am going to increment my answer by or 2 power 1 why 2 power 1 uh, because i have done shifting by one time so i am going to increment my answer by 2 power 1 it would become 10 our what would be our new dividend New dividend would be 15 minus 8 would be 7, and divisor would remain same as what 4. So I'm going to do my next of the steps. That is, uh, I'm going to shift to 4. That is multiply 4 by 2. That is shifting by 1 using left shift of it would become 8. Now it will be what greater than what 7. So no need to do that. So answer. Lastly, I'm going to increment my answer by 1 for last. Uh, i have already said i need to increment my answer by 1 for balancing my answers you can see i have the 10 up to this and i have to increment by 1 so my answer would be 11 now you can see 47 when divided by 4 will give us the value as 11 so let me discuss the approach using the bits the key observation is that the quotient is of a division is just the number of times we want to subtract the divisor from the dividend without making it negative this is the important point that you must notice then that without making it negative that's why i'm going to increment my answer as one well. note that uh, maybe sometime it will reach up to one or two but i have to make uh, without making it negative that it can be zero okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to check the base case as per question that is uh, note that we have here one condition that is if we have we are going to be overflowed we have to return int max now uh, every time while divisor is less than or equal to dividend i am going to shift divisor each time by 1 till it is less than or equal to what dividend and calculate how many times we are going to shift or we have shifted then answer will be incremented by the power of 2 comma count and in the last you our answer would be incremented by plus plus for balancing it So let's move to the code. Okay. Now this statement that you are seeing is actually what when the division is going to be overflowed. That is when dividend is int minimum and divisor is what minus one. I have to return int max. Note that I have taken numerator as absolute value and denominator as absolute value because we are going to deal signs separately. That is if both have the same sign, both have the For same sign, then I am going to put my sign as one, otherwise minus one. Now, I'm, what I am going to do? I am going to uh, use the long long variable uh, with dealing with absolute values of dividend and division. Now, I am going to make, uh, run a while loop till for dividend is greater than or equal to denominator, or you can say divisor here. Now, I have a temporary variable. Note that I have initialized with one. Even if this loop doesn't run. I have the value one. That's why I have incremented my answer. Lastly, finally, with one, so as to balance that my answers. Now I have what left shifted my current variable and checked if this is going to be less than equal to what dividend. Yes, it will be less than equal to dividend. Then I am going to shift that value and also count how many times I have shifted. Uh, rather, I have what I have incremented, or you can say I have multiplied that with the What multiplied with two, so that I can directly add to it my answers. Okay, that is answer plus equal to m. And finally, I am going to decrement also each time what my dividend that is here. You can see num numerator or you can see now finally I am going to return my sign into answer, which will be correct answer. Let me submit this code and check out. Yes. Run time is wow zero milli per second faster than hundred percent online submissions. 
yes okay so if you have any doubts do not forget to mention in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video do subscribe to my youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video